morning, welcome to the vlog. And I'm gonna tell you about why scientists have got it all wrong. Fake news! <laughs> Okay, we're on the media mod because it seems to do best in the wind while I'm cycling and it's dry, so that's okay. But first of all, let's kick off with an Achilles update. So, how is the ankle? Awesome, it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a while before I can run on it, but the improvement in the last week since I've been doing strength training, strength work on it, exercises, has been immense. Resting it was the wrong thing to do. And it kind of connects with the story I want to tell you about today, about how food isn't the only source of energy that we need and uh, how science has lied to us. Our bodies are not driven by the food we eat, but by the community. But first of all, let's get going first. Before we start, I just want to say I'm trying out something new in terms of telling the story. Instead of just a single segment, I'm trying something that uh, another YouTuber here in Harlem, Sky, does. I'll link to him below. He's awesome. And he's, the way he does, he connects his stories through different scenes is amazing. So I'm just trying something different here. Let me know what you think. So what's all this about then? This clickbait about science being wrong? Well, it's a bit of a joke, but it seems, it just feels like it. At the moment, with the injury, I've got less energy. Why is that? I should have more energy because I'm resting more. I'm not running as much. I'm not picking up as much trash as I normally would. So why have I got less energy? And that's why I want to talk about how energy isn't just a food source. It's also, a lot of it's to do with your mental attitude and, and how people are sort of helping you through the day. Good morning. Good morning. Cleaning the bins. <laughs> the only problem with this media mod is you've got to really tighten down the screw, otherwise it's just too wobbly. I haven't got my thing handy. Is that better? A little bit more. Okay, let's get going again. So it seems to me that the food that we eat is only part of the energy that we get. When I run, I just feel so alive afterwards. I've got more energy after I run than before it. And it feels like doing things that your brain and your heart enjoys really gives you the energy to to sort of carry on and do more. It really energizes you. It's crazy to say that. And the same is true with plogging. Let me just pick this up. I actually saw this the other day. So, uh, but I was doing a different strategy for plogging, so I never picked it up. Let's see what's in it. I'm curious to see if there's anything in it. rather disgusting someone's done a number two in it but the bin's just there so I'm gonna take it it's disgusting okay so it doesn't always give you energy <laughs> I've got a poop drink it down, so it's like the... Don't roll. Super, yeah, cool. This is exactly what I mean. So, I saw the, the, the guy that was just emptying and cleaning the bins. I saw him in the distance, he was just going on to the next stop, so I carried it, I cycled on to the next stop and gave it to him. And just his simple, thank you very much, has just given me so much energy and so much positive energy for today. That simple thank you has carried me on. It has nothing to do with food. It has nothing to do with energy in a closed system. It's just a gift. Thank you so much for making my day.
<laughs> I wonder what that was. I know exactly what that is. <laughs> Someone's lost their cap on their toolbox. <laughs> that was going to be an accidental one. <laughs> so the thing is, hunt for the things that give you joy. Hunt for the things that that give you pleasure. And it doesn't matter if it costs energy to use them, you'll get energy back in, in bucket loads. People often ask, do I not get down from, you know, that question, does it not get you down picking up people's trash? I get so much positive energy from picking up trash and trying to make an impact that way and trying to inspire people that that's the reason why I do it. It's selfish. I'm getting so much joy and energy out of it. And it's the same with running. I, I used to be a triathlete and I love cycling. I really love cycling and I love swimming, but my passion is running. So I switched to running and I don't regret that decision, but I do regret not getting out on the bike so much. So that's definitely going to be once a week from now on, promise. And I get so much energy from the running. So I can run 30 kilometers and then later that day, I'm just so energized. Yeah, I'm tired, but I'm en mentally I'm energized <laughs> and it's just crazy. And so at the moment, I think mentally I'm feeling tired because of the injury. And it's really worth putting effort into something because you get a reward out. That's all I want to say. When you do something, ask yourself this question. Has that given me energy back? If it has, you're on the right path. It has, if it hasn't, you're on the wrong path. And there's, you know, I am not the best advocate of that. There's so much in my life that is not giving me positive energy, but clogging, running, cycling, vlogging, does. Anyway, that's it. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a great time today. Have a great time in the weekend. If I don't speak to you before then, let's get going. Seriously, it's a bit weirder. Huh? I just picked up someone's poo and put it in a, in a bin and it's giving me energy. <laughs> Go figure. My name is Paul. <laughs> this is my way of life. <laughs> oh, I'll pick up this trash. One more piece. I don't know how, I don't know how Sky does it on his videos. He sort of links the whole conversation in so many different scenes, I can't do that. But I think it works just having slightly different backgrounds during the conversation instead of just one, one sort of point where I'm just talking. So I'm gonna try and do that a bit more. <laughs>